So Roblox has recently released the revamped Asset Manager, and trust me when I say this, it's a huge helper and quality of life improvement. Like for example, you are finally able to view your inventory, and any assets that are shared with you through groups in just one window. But yeah, I'm gonna be overviewing this in the video. So as usual, I'll leave a like as a separate, separate channel, and let's just get to it. And here we are in Roblox Studio, where we see actually need to enable the feature. And it's done by going into File then Beta Features, and then scrolling down to the revamped Asset Manager right here. Here you just want to enable this one, press on save and then it's going to prompt you to restart studio. So you just want to do that and you should have the new asset manager. And it's actually not seen anywhere right now. And that's because we need to go into the view and then the asset manager from right here. And now it's going to open this new window, which I'm actually going to place at the bottom. And wow, it's starting to feel like a proper, well, game engine. But anyway, here you have the name of the place, right? Where you have a folder that's shared with experience. And for example, this can be some models, also audio and so on. Then there are also the places in experience. And this is pretty much the places that you would see normally in the asset manager. So here I have the main place and the not crosswoods reel that I use for one of my videos. <laughs> then there is my inventory. And right here it has a lot of different stuff like some textures that I use for a video or even a shield that I recently made. But yeah, you have the name, the asset ID, the asset type saying that oh this is a model, image or whatever, the date modified and the creator of the asset. And now one of the things that I mentioned at the beginning of the video is an ability to view a group inventory in just one window and this is a huge quality of life improvement because if I go to post official group you can see that I for example have like these whatever donation t-shirts and for example a whole bunch of different audio that's shared to me via my group. I'm actually just going to move it out like this. But yeah, continuing about the asset manager. If I go back to my inventory, there is the search option. And you can search through the different inventories like the game's inventory, my inventory, and my group's inventory too. Where let's say that I actually wanted to just search through my own inventory and look for a model that's called a, a steel drum for example. And right here I'm going to have these assets that are going to show after while well, searching for them. And I also don't know whatever the out kit to one model or hold kit one model is. They are from like three years ago and I don't really remember what all of this was. But yeah, I can basically just search through the mesh part, meshes, images and all of the different types of the asset. But yeah, now I'm just going to go back. Now if it comes to searching, you also have an asset filter right here in the top right corner where for example I can select the asset type to only show for example images and even meshes where this is just going to show the images and meshes from my inventory. I can also select the creator and I think this is getting all of the creators from the asset that are stored in the inventory. Like I can for example just select Max and actually remove the image and mesh and he's going to show me that I have this plugin made by him. So yeah, then I have the source which is the source where you got the asset from, where you have the creator store, where mostly it's going to be some models and plugins, then shared with me, which it's kind of nothing, and then the stuff that I myself uploaded. Then you can also select the packages, where I'm going to have the still RAM from my tutorial video, and the only archive, where I'm just going to have these two different sheets from 2021. And you also have the button to reset filter, which basically is going to get rid of every filter. There is also going to be this refresh assets button, which basically just refreshes the list, and the import button is again going to be right here. Now if it also comes to customizing the whole asset manager window, you can for example move this panel right here or even hide it through this very small button which can be a bit hard to see at times. Then you also have this little hamburger menu right here where you can change the view from the list to a grid. And then it's going to show you this in a grid layout like it would do for example in Unity or different game engines. And this one is even going to work on the search where again I'm going to be searching for the sealed drum and it's going to select all of these assets from here. And also once you're in the grid view you are going to have this new slider which is going to appear on the bottom. And this one is just going to change the size of the icons so you can simply modify it to your liking. But then there is also going to be this new button which appeared, which is going to allow you to sort the assets by for example name, which can be ascending or descending if you press on it, as well as the modification date and the asset type. Where here I'm going to have the video, plugins, then I think models, meshes, packages or whatever. So yeah, all of this was a little bit to go over, but you can basically see how this is going to be a way better solution than having all of the assets in the toolbox inventory right here. But again, that's mostly going to be everything so right now I'm just going to go to the dev forum and give you a little bit more information on the update as well as few different features that are planned for the future. So yeah and here is the dev forum post about the revamped asset manager which is in beta. 
where Tasavix, a Roblox sub, is saying that Hi developers, we are excited to announce a beta for a revamped asset manager, which is a step forward for empowering your studio workflow for all things assets. And they have basically revamped the entire backend and frontend to build a new asset manager foundation, which enables better usability and scalability, meaning that it's also going to be better to modify in the future. And they are basically launching this beta to test the features and get feedback on the tool. And you have things like searching for the assets in user and group inventories, sorting and filtering tools, and quality of life improvements for viewing and using assets. And there is also this documentation, which I'm also going to leave down in the description if you well want to read about it. And where can I find the asset manager is basically what I already went over about enabling the feature. And then there is the what can I expect. And this initial phase focuses on two key improvements. One is the consolidating functionality between the toolbox and the legacy asset manager, and enabling you to easily find assets across your personal and your group's inventories. So like provided in the screenshot right here, you have the inventory of the person, as well as the different groups that share the assets with the user. And then about the workflow, saying that all the assets are now under just one interface, paving the way for a unified experience. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this includes the ability to import various asset types and view them alongside your existing library, all in one consolidated space. Because on the toolbox, you for example just had everything under different tabs. And here you for example also have the places in experience and the shared with experience folder, where this was of course previously under the basic asset manager. Then easily find your assets, where there is a new search system which quickly allows you to locate assets across the inventories and filter out their specific asset types, where this is basically the searching functionality that I kind of already went over, but again you can just filter out for example images and meshes, you can search across the uploaded assets, assets from the developer store, and any assets that are shared with you. Then you can also search for assets through your own personal account and group accounts, and for models you can use the semantic description to match the result, where right here you basically just have the search tool, where the person was searching for an R15 rig, from the model asset type. Then under the enhanced efficiency and personalization, where you have improved sorting, filtering, and bulk action capabilities, and you can also customize the UI by while well, resizing it, configure the sidebar and change the size of thumbnails. And this information right here isn't really anything new, so there is some more information on the multi select and bulk action, where you can basically just do the bulk import and the right click action on the imported assets may depend on the asset type. And they will also be adding more additional bulk actions in the future. And under the insert, the drag and drop functionality is not currently supported, but they are actually working on it. So that's going to be pretty neat. And there is also the what's coming in the future which is pretty interesting, saying that the new asset manager is going to replace the old legacy one, as well as the inventory and creation tab in the toolbox. And they are also going to add additional features, like the drag and drop, easily bulk manage asset permission and configuration, which is a pretty huge setting for groups mostly. Oops, and I didn't mean to quote this anyway. And there is also a hierarchically organize and categorize your assets, like folders and labels. Again, really great. And in the long term, they want to add additional metadata, such as the asset moderation status, and thank god that you are not gonna have to open your browser, go to the creator hub, to your inventory, then search for the asset or whatever, and then look if it was actually moderated there. So yeah, this one is a W. Then reduce clutter in your inventories by for example archiving and versioning. I wonder if something like for example hiding an asset is also going to fall under this category because sometimes whenever I have like a whatever mesh, I kind of don't want it to lay there in my inventory where it's basically just going to occupy space. And then you can get a full scope of all assets that are associated with your experience, which again sounds interesting, like the ability to basically just view all the assets and so on. Then changes from the legacy tooling paragraph, saying that the new asset manager does not use or manage aliases, and they are checking out what this feature is going to look like in the long run. And the avatar accessory assets that were visible in the toolbox are not currently visible in the new asset manager, and they are accessing how they want to display this in the future, and they will also find a replacement workflow before sunsetting those tabs in the toolbox. Then of course your feedback is essential, which they are basically just asking for feedback. And then under the known issues, saying that there might be some problems with the next gen studio preview, so it's best not to have these two enabled at once. And there are also some issues when searching through large inventories. And of course acknowledgements, where you have all of these people who basically worked on the asset manager. And they also have this documentation link again, which is basically the same thing. So yeah, that about it is going to sum it up for this update. So yeah, as usual, leave a like and subscribe for the channel, also check out my Patreon page. Thanks everyone for watching, hope you have a nice day and see you guys.